Hello again, it's Jared Two Speaker, and today I'm talking about living consciously. A lot of people are sleepwalking, and they don't know they're sleepwalking. If you tell them that, they'll say, I'm awake, because they think you're talking about a physical act. Sleepwalking spiritually means you are not living consciously. When you are living in wakefulness, awareness, consciously, it is a way of thinking. It is a way of seeing life in yourself and others. Living consciously is thinking from your right hemisphere. From the time we are born, we are put into this world, to the slave world, and we are brainwashed from the very beginning. And so all of that thinking, brainwashing, mind control is of the left brain. When you come from the right brain or the right hemisphere, you're coming from truth, wisdom. You're coming from the God force that is within you. And if you want to come from the God force, if you want to wake up and start living consciously, there are four ways in which you can do that. You can meditate, go within yourself, shut down all of your thoughts, concentrate on nothing, and just be. That is meditation to reconnect with the God force that is within you. Number two, you can sun gaze. Look directly at the sun at the right time with the sunset or sunrise. When you are experiencing this, some people actually look at it whenever they want to. But I suggest that you do your homework on that. You look directly into the sun and the sun starts opening your pineal gland. You know, the pineal, that place where Jacob saw the face of God. Yeah, that place. Number three, you can fast. You can stop eating for a few days and you will become spiritually in tune, connected with the God force that is within you. It is a deprivation of um, the body. You're depriving the body of food and the brain of food. And so you will become more spiritually aware Number four, you can drink ayahuasca. Ayahuasca provides you with a spiritual experience. It is just that if you don't continue with meditation or some of some sort because that's what it gives you. It's like, bam, when you drink ayahuasca, bam, you are there. If you choose to wake up, drink ayahuasca, and you can get to know who you are in the body. And you will see that you are not the body, that you are the being in the body. You are connected to all things. When you drink ayahuasca, the thing about that is when you drink it, it would be a good thing to continue with the meditation because otherwise it becomes just an experience. You need to stay connected to the God force in some way. So after you drink ayahuasca and you get connected, you want to stay connected by meditating. So those are the ways that you could actually start living a conscious life so that you could be happy and peaceful and joyous and generous and grateful and have a fulfilled life, a successful life. And success does not necessarily mean having lots of money. It's good to have lots of money. But success can just be living a peaceful life to some. And success to others could mean having lots of money. But you can have lots of money and be happy and joyful, generous, peaceful, and free. So those are the ways that you can actually start living consciously and be peaceful, joyful, happy at the same time. And of course, loving. So, once again, meditation, 
sun gazing, fasting, and ayahuasca. If you know of any other ways, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, love, light, peace, meditate, and do your homework.